Nearly 18 months after the insurrection, we're getting some, some more stunning evidence of just how much Trump's election lies have become embedded in the Republican Party. Uh, take a look at this uh, debate featuring Republican candidates for governor in Arizona. Let's watch. I'd actually like to ask everybody on this stage if they would agree we had a corrupt, stolen election. Raise your hand. Did well, we would, have? Did we uh, have? This is I would question. like to. Did I'm not going to play your, your stunt. Why not get high-tech people that are going to be on the machines that are Republicans? A Democrat, Republican, get supervisors, that, that, equal amount. That happens. That, we, we have parties we, looking over th that's election right. results. They're, they're mm -hmm. doing it now. No, no, they, they they're actually telling you, Scott, interesting. are you going to accept the results of this election if you think there's so much fraud that it can't be trusted? Are you talking about the primary I'm currently I'm in? I'm talking about the primary. The, the one we're in now? Yes. We're going to see what happens. We're going to show up and vote in droves. They're going to have to cheat even harder in order to try to win this. Your so campaign's a PSYOP. Okay, uh, my head hurts after playing that. It just really hurts right now. Um, Essie, you're laughing, um, but let me go to you anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is, it is comical. If it wasn't so sad, I guess we'd laugh. But yeah. um, whether Trump runs again is up in the air. I mean, it sounds like he may try to throw his hat in the ring. Who knows? That may be just more fog that his camp is putting out these days. But he may run again. Um, but Trumpism and his election lies, they are, they are alive and well. When you take Trump, you put him on a rocket, launch him into space, he's gone. What he has left behind is still on the scene. Yeah, I mean, one of those candidates, I think it was Carrie Lake, um, has said it should be disqualifying for her rivals not to say the election was stolen. I mean, how much more money, uh, taxpayer money, are Arizona Republicans going to waste searching down this non-existent election fraud? It's, it's crazy. And... Even though a majority of Arizona Republicans believe that the election was stolen, a majority of Arizona voters, like 75 percent, don't want the things that these guys are suggesting. They still want mail-in ba mail voting. They still like that, that stuff that, that Republicans want to take away so that they can have more control over elections and, and suppress more votes. It's just crazy town. And that clown car of a, a debate, I just felt bad for the moderator who had to like try to get some sense into people who don't want to see reality for what it is. Yeah, it was Miller time for him when that thing was over, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> and, and Molly, uh, let's talk about Congresswoman Liz Cheney because I mean, she has been sort of a, um, a, a steadying force, I think, throughout these January 6 hearings. And, and she's been attacked by Republicans for being part of that committee. Uh, but she gave this speech at the Reagan Presidential Library. I want to speak to every young girl watching tonight. The power is yours, and so is the responsibility. There are no bystanders in a constitutional republic. These days, for the most part, men are running the world, and it is really not going that well. <laughs> Yeah, Molly, this is somebody who, who may get primaried up in Wyoming. We'll see. There was a, a kind of a nutty debate up there the other night in Wyoming, in addition to the, this one in Arizona. Yeah, I mean, I don't agree with Liz Cheney on anything ever, but I really appreciate that there's one or two, a very small handful of Republicans standing up for what's right and not hardening against democracy. I mean, you have a large part of the Republican Party that has just rolled over and let Trump do everything and gone along with it. And even like it, even older, you know, very established senators who have, you know, numerous, you know, who have money and power have let have been scared of Trump. And the very few people who have stood up to him have really stand, stand stood out. And um you know, it's good to see if democracy survives, it will be because of these people who have stood up to Trump and Trumpism. Um, you know, we may not agree on anything, but I do think that, uh, you know, it's certainly better than the alternative.